as I said, Spain never won over the blitz pocket. And they would like to take another stack. South Africa to kick off. Duel, Kuman gets it underway here. The long kick. Spain in the red jerseys playing from left to right. Claim possession. Paul Plum majestically keeps it on the park. But he's going to give possession away. Oh, it gets it right back. South Africa, as they did Man, last week, uncharacteristically bobbled the ball. Good strong pick up there from Joseph Serres. He's in the contact, but high tackle from the blitz box. Real energy, and they're out going again, and it's Serres again, still moving. He dumps down one defender, hits two, and then the captain has to come over and sort it out. There's numbers there, but they did very well midfield. Savage took away the space. And they couldn't exploit the overlap. Over the Another shoulder. Penalty. That's two quick ones for contact above the shoulder area. Good tap. Eduardo Lopez gets Spain on the board. First try for Spain. Spain coming out with really high tempo right from the start. Going quickly, going quickly. And capitalizing on the South African error that gave them the ball back. But we've seen two or three of these now. I think human has been on the receiving end of a few bumps. Uh, and South Africa, they come into every collision so physically, but Spain getting the better off of them so far. Well, that is this plucky Spanish side. R relative amount of experience here. Ninth on the table currently in the World Series, but they are capable of beating anyone. They beat the All Blacks famously in this stadium, the All Blacks 7. And they've got a great start here, seven points up. Yeah, really memorable win over the All Blacks. And that's what you want to do. If you come out, you're playing a team your country's never beaten, you have to bring the energy and show right from the beginning that you're not going to back down from anything. Let's see what the men in green and yellow are made of. Finally, some possession they can count on. Running across field, and he's got the pace to finish it off. Ronald Brown. Chose to use the boot and couldn't get it done. Scrambling back is Enrique Belinches. And it will be a knock on to Brown. I thought he was free and away. Really fantastic brace, a break. Used his footwork, used the speed, but the Spanish defender started chasing down. The kick was an interesting strategy, just try and change the angle. And really a nice little goose here, and he glides through the gap. The little show and go, really effective from Brown. But I think he realized he was going to get caught and just able to come off. Really, really strong defense from the Spanish defender Enrique Belinches there. He's done well to fight back and chase back, and that's what Spain are going to have to do all game. They want to have a chance of winning. Crouch! Yeah, Ronald Brown there, not the biggest man in the series. Felt the six foot one Belinches, the Spaniard, lurking. And that is the stat that Spain are trying to create here, a bit of history. South Africa have never lost four in a row. They are currently on a three game losing streak coming out of Singapore. Unheard of virtually in, in modern. Good spot. So Spain are trying to bust that record. Give them their fourth loss. That kick that missed touch will not help their cause. South Africa off and running. Very good support of the breakdown. That's a feature of their game when they're playing well. The dancing feet of Zane Davids. Donald Brown with another opportunity. This time getting in field. He loses his footing momentarily. Tackle. Tackle called. And that's going to be uh, an issue playing the scrum half. I think the referee's missed it, so it's going to be a play on. Oh, oh stolen by the big man. Christy Kovala just completely seals possession, the ball, and all. Now they've got a chance into space. Great running, lifts his heels. Darren Adonis. First try for South Africa in Vancouver. Spain just thinking they had the break, and Ushazen pulls it out of their hands, and that's where South Africa is so deadly. Unlike most teams on the circuit, they're very happy to defend, wait for the turnover, and then immediately capitalize with some of their strike runners, and Adonis finishing that one off, off on the wing. And that's a, an interesting style dynamic that most teams go through in South Africa, have this alternate strategy, and it really pays off for them. And Madison, your time with the Eagles. You've been on the end of this. It starts with that big defensive play by Christy Kovalar, just ruthless, and then they turn it into points. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Kovala are really turning it over and the broken defense. And South Africa have these strike runners, the likes of Adonis, Humar, and Brown, who one on one, they are so hard to defend. And off that turnover, that's when your defense is not set. You don't have the structure that you like. And so the South African runners can tear you apart. So, seven all here, two minutes to play. First match here in Pool C. Thanks for joining us here. Canada Sevens in Vancouver. Five, this is round six of the HSBC World Series. Whole plot hitting up midfield. Advantage over. Zane looping around, trying to create an extra set of hands. Instead, they're into contact through Lopez. And Belichez has been busy in the first half. He's been penalized for holding on there. Quick tap, straight up the guts, running straight at him. And it is Shake Sardwap. He's going for the corner. Shakes gets it down. Let's see here, our referee. I think we're going to have a look upstairs. Oh, he coming up to you for this one, please. Try or no try. What do you reckon, yeah. Madison? Thank I thought you. he may have, may have got the work done. Yeah, I thought he was in there. It's just questioning the grounding must have been. But yeah, no, I thought that was pretty yeah. clearly a try, and the, the replay when shows screen, it. And once again, try. it's coming off hey, that turnover it. in the breakdown. So that's good putting pressure on. I think it was Human who's got his hands on the ball uh, and immediately saw his Wafi's in. And how dangerous is a team like Spain after the penalties awarded? Yeah, I mean, South Africa, so deadly. I mean, that's when, again, they like to capitalize on the broken defense. They're so good at taking that quick tap and immediately running straight. And that tends to be where people are either retreating or there's no defenders at all. Well, I think some relief there in those South African faces. Conversion just drops under the crossbar. I was talking to the coach Neil Powell. You know, you could sense they, they do things professionally, they do things well, and th there were elements of their game that weren't up to it. They spilled a lot of ball, and they allowed the USA Eagles to steal that famous match off them, ending the 36-game win streak. Yeah, I mean, it's so hard for any team to win 36 games in a row. You can't be off once, and South Africa allowing some uncharacteristic, uh, uncharacteristic errors to creep in, and it cost them last weekend. Spain looking to respond here. Final 30 seconds of the first half. Good line speed from the South Africans taking the middle of the field away. Bouncing there. This Juan Martinez has been relatively quiet the last couple of weeks. We'll see how it goes. No arms. That contact was not in a rapid no fashion on Paul Pla. I think he felt it. Yeah, now chance for Spain to slow it down. The, the halves coming to an end, and they've really had quite a good half so far. A lot of things have gone their way. Scoreboard, though, not where they'd like it right now. So now they've got one more chance. They can slow it down. And what they don't want to do here is turn over again because they know that South Africa won't need a second invitation to get on the attack and try and sneak another try before the half. So, penalty line out awarded. South Africa good. don't compete, so they've got a full defensive line here. Really good step there from Rock. Lopez. Into the opportunity there, but he ran away from it. Now he's gone wide. Lots of green jerseys around, and they do make the tackle. Bolinches carries in. And what can they find? Coming back against the grain. There's Lopez. Ball in one arm, and it gets knocked out. Knock on advantage. This is an opportunity. Advantage South over. Africa won't kill it. They will keep competing. They'll go for this. Not held is Ronald Brown. He's dancing away. They keep it out. They keep the ball alive. Constantly asking questions of the Spanish defense. Here on Adonis looking to add a second to his earlier try. Just 22 meters out now, South Africa. The number's in the red. This is an important moment in this match. Can they convert after the Spanish turnover? Oh, big tackle. Textbook stuff. Out. Juan Martinez doing all he can for the Spanish cause. Out wide is Oosthuizen. He's still going. He gets the arm free, but no one to give it to. Oh, a vicious counter ruck. And the ball's alive. Not Great advantage, advantage being played by Chowdy. Nine over. and a half is over. Back. He says it's gone back. So the ball's alive. No advantage awarded. He must have been advantage over. And in the end, it's a fairly easy try for South Africa to get their third. Yeah, two turnovers in a row. And again, the defenses at sixes and sevens were well over the halftime mark. So defenders looking out on their feet. And 
Sois Wafi going in under the post, and that's a poor, uh, disappointing ending to the half for Spain, who had so many things go their way, but the scoreboard not looking as they'd like it. South Africa looking to add the extras, and they do, and that will do it. Halftime lead for the men in green over Spain, 19 points to seven. Points to seven, Australia in such fine form last week, got Canada coming up. Spain kicking off. 12 point deficit they need to make up. Big Ben, still going. That's impressive work. Back, back. From Human. Well, this is more of the left block side we're used to. Patient, clinical, and their execution. That got them three tries in the first half, and Madison, they seem to be back to some normal. Yeah, they made a couple errors, but as you said, seem to be more, more organized, more in their structures, and it's really been their turnover attack that I think has been the difference so far. Ready to get the ground up, Selwyn Davis off, off the bench. And he's penalized, so a great opportunity for Spain. Valencia says, calm down, let's run something we worked on in the training pitch. Yeah, I think exactly. There's still six minutes left in this half. This, oh, this right. isn't a time when they need to really push the pace. Uh, we see, as we see, the last six penalties, five of them have been against South Africa. So that those give Spain opportunities, and they haven't been able to capitalize on it so far. But now they're going for the line out. They're able to set up a planned attack and see what they can build and get into their structures of their Come in, come in without delay, come in without delay. Huge opportunity inside the 22 are the Spanish. Oh, immediately engulfed by Ustazen. And penalized. Wow, what, a, what an impact player he is. Yeah, and right so the South Africa not, choosing not to compete in the line out. And that allows Ustazen to get through and put pressure on the scrum half. The Spanish might be better off holding the ball in the line out at the top for a second. Pausing that, just stopping Estes and been able to get through. It's a great point you're making. It's a very fine line. When the ball's caught at the lineout, he has to stay onside, onside, onside. And because it was passed so quickly, he's allowed to come through and make the play. Yeah, so if they just pause at the top there, they can allow the scrum half to get away a bit further, give on. the ball to him then, and that will allow the scrum half a bit of time to move the ball out. Great insight there from former U.S. Eagles captain Madison Hughes, South Africa. Up by 12 points. He stays and bobbles it, so he keeps it himself, but he's Got a decent return on it. Spanish player trying to wriggle out of the way. Back to where the lineup was. Pretty night co night tight corridors they're working in. Jane Davis out wide. Now the boot, the left foot. Zuman into space. Will he get a bounce? Oh, somewhat awkward. But beautiful secondary support. And he gets the ball. The pressure continues for Spain. Simple hands, Ustazen. I was just about to say he won't be stopped from there, but he has been. What a tackle. Nico Nieto, the tackle of the match so far. Can he give his team a chance here? Oh, you, you slap the ball down. Oh, it's a great tackle from Nieto, but then just slapping the ball down as the scrum half looks to pass it away, and Spain down to Deliver six, knock on. and that's going to be really tough for them to get anything. And you see the South Africans look to be lining up. Touch this ball down. Uh, the referee saying the ball wasn't tapped on the mark, so it's going to come back. Yeah. And that might give the Spanish down. defense a chance to get Time themselves off. set. Uh, but it's going to be hard for them defending. You've got a player in front. Africans, they're so you've dead come in back space. Too. And now you've got even more space to defend. Time is off. You've got a substitution coming on. So Hold on, please. Time off. A couple of subs and a couple of players feeling the pain. You see who's Are we making a substitution? Who's and really feeling it after that big tackle? He's down having a stretch. Yeah. yeah. Really big collision. There you don't expect him to be he's, he's not happy. Yeah. You don't expect him to be stopped from where he was. It looked off. like he was going to walk away. And big collision. Great tackle from Nieto. Uh, and who stays and just trying Can to figure eat? out if there's anyone to come on for him. <laughs> just wait for the whistle. Wait for the whistle. So a sevens game is never over. Deliberate knock on. That big tackle. Time on, please. Spain. Just 12 points adrift. Now South Africa going to go. Set move. And it's straight Outside. off the left boot. Is it too deep? Doesn't hold up on the turf here. Options. And they've got options. 22 meter dropout. Time off. Substitution. 
Kane getting some fresh legs on the field. You got yeah, and some of Davids will be disappointed with that. I think 22. he's player of such quality that the, the kick was really on and Come on. now Spain moving it around. And that was the yellow we saw, as you mentioned. Absolutely zero tolerance for a knock That's okay. on. It's across the line. Knocking a pass down. <laughs> holding. Spain penalized for holding on to the ball. Quick tap from Van Dijk. On his heels, it's a scary sight. Human is still going. He's a yard from the line. He reaches out. Does he get it down? Easy, easy, easy. Referee Chowdhury is going to have a look. Try to move back. I think he's going to ask a question. Yeah, I think he might have been short there, but really hard to tell. I'm happy yeah. with the grounding. Okay. Are you? Have you seen anything else? No. Good with the touch. Okay. Try's good. Well, good referee. There, he took his time. He was happy. He thought he was over the line. The grounding. Have a look here. Yeah, moving the ball wide in space, and Spain with the defender down out in those wide channels. And yeah, you've got Human, who's one on one, gives the little goose, drives his way to the line, and just able to touch it down before the Spanish defender is able to get his hands underneath. And a really nice finish there from Human. Referee in prime position. That's why they get. So that's why they've got the whistle. They know where to be. They know what they need to see. And really good, good vision there from the referee to spot the grounding. Uh, and get things moving very quickly. Yuval Tuman in his 14th World Series event. Building that experience. A very hard side to get into, let alone to play a bunch of series tournament events. Especially as a halfback. I mean, over the years, Branco de Prius, Cecil Africa, um, Justin Goodall, they've, they've had so many quality halfbacks. Um, and yeah, really hard to break in, but Human's starting to make a name for himself and, and really kick. show that he's ready to carry that mantle forward. Quick tap from Spain. They're looking to get back into this one. Also, points difference, as we all know in sevens, in pool play can become a factor at the end of day one. Any try Spain can notch up here. They started well, scoring the first try in this match, but it's been a, a steady response from South Africa putting the touch there. Okay. Yeah, I, I think Spain will be quite happy with a lot of the things Time they've off. done, but it's small mistakes, and they've given the ball to South Africa, and South Africa have made them pay. Yeah. That's really what they're known There's for. The weren't able to do it last weekend, but done a better job in this game. The Spanish were able to benefit for some pre-Singapore training with Ireland and France. So some valuable experience there. Line out one by South Africa. Do the hands. Oh, beautiful loop around. A little give and go. Still challenging. To Sean Williams out wide. He's been brought into the squad this week. No, no, no. Play on. Wick now. It comes short, but they throw it. Is that one forward? Referee says no. Play on. So the bullocking run of Davids down the sideline. He does his job. Beautiful step from Van Vick. He's just five Van meters out. Tackle. There's a high tackle advantage being played. Around the corner. Great stuff. He finally puts it down. Timothy Visser looking to offload, but didn't need to in the end. He had the power to get over the line for South Africa's pick. Visser finishing it off for this collision from Zane Davis. South Africa, they've got this play where the, the second lot to last attacker comes in on a short line, and they've got the option to hit the short line or go over the top, and then really good stepping here makes it hard. Van Veek, two steps, the defense collapses inwards, and that gives the opportunity for Visser just to go over out wide. Well, an angry dotting down of the ball as if to say, hey, we're back. Their first pool win here looming in Canada. And as we mentioned off the top, some unfinished business from last week. They've won three of the last four events in Canada and have an incredible 12-match win streak. So they like something. They must like the maple syrup up here, Madison. I mean, who, who couldn't like the maple syrup? It's, it's yeah, a little taste of heaven. Dying seconds here. Possession for Spain. Good offloading. A little deep there through those Spanish players. But allowing the South Africans to get across. They post it. Happy to one off the bench. He keeps it alive with the offload. Oh, there's the dangerous tackle there. Yeah, okay. Keep going, keep going. No yellow because he wants him to have the advantage. 
Good tap. Javier Duan has been impactful since he's come on, is it? Overlap here. They need to get it through the hands. Bobbled for the moment by Nieto. They still got numbers. Can they get it there? All the way over. Romero. Try for Spain. And Spain fighting through right to the final whistle. And that's what you love to see. I mean, every point is important in sevens. But I think on the balance of the game, they do deserve that second try. They created lots of opportunities, especially in that first half. Uh, and a little taste of, of something they deserve. Um, not the scoreline they'll have wanted, but I think a lot of things to build on for here for Spain and really for them as they look further in this tournament. This isn't the game that matters. This is a game about putting their structures in place and having something to build on. Two tries for Spain against the series leaders and reigning champs here. Not enough. In the end, South Africa 31, Spain 12.